hello everyone how to solve this problem for the values of x if we have x cubed and its whole square root is equals to 3 cubed and its whole square root uh, so we find all the roots of this equation and you see here this is cubic equation it means that this equation has uh, three roots so that we will find all of that three roots so now here first we need to uh, eliminate this square root sign on both of the sides uh, for this we will take the squaring on both of the sides so after taking squaring it will be written as square root of uh, x cubed and its whole square is equals to uh, square root of 3 cubed and its whole square and now further in the next step you see here this 2 and this square root are gone and we will get here in the left hand side is x cubed is equals to this 2 and this square root are also gone and we get here 3 cubed and now further in the next step uh, we move uh, 3 cubed in the left hand side so it will be written as x cubed minus 3 cubed and this whole equation equals to 0 so uh, in the next step uh, we, in order to solve this equation we need to use here the nice cubic formula you know about this formula if we have a cubed minus b cubed is equals to a minus b times of a square plus a b plus b square so according to this cubic formula we write our uh, above equation as in this form so first we uh, write this equation as first our first factor is a minus b here our a is x and b is 3 so it will be written as uh, x minus 3 times of a square here our a is x it will becomes x square plus a b so a is x and b is 3 plus b square so b is 3 square and this whole equation equals to 0 and now further in the next step uh, we need a little bit simplifications in the second factor so uh, it will be written as x square plus uh, x times of 3 becomes 3x and plus 3 square equals to 9 and this whole equation equals to 0 so in the next step we divide this equation into the two cases the first case is we write x minus 3 equals to 0 and the second case is we write x square plus 3x plus 9 is equals to 0 and now here in the next step uh, we need uh, to simplify here our first case and from here we move this minus 3 to the right hand side and we get the first real root of the given equation is x equals to 3 so this is our first real root of the given equation and now uh, because our given equation is cubic equation it means that this equation has three roots so in order to find the other two roots we need to solve this quadratic equation and you know about that there are three methods to solve the quadratic equation the first method is uh, factorization method and the second method is completing square method and third is uh, by applying the quadratic formula so here we solve this uh, quadratic equation by applying the quadratic formula uh, so here first we write the coefficients of this equation are a equals to 1 b equals to 3 and c is equals to 9 and we state the quadratic formula as x is equals to minus b plus minus square root of b square minus 4 times of ac divided by 2 times of a so this is our quadratic formula and now we substitute the values of a b and c in this formula so uh, after substituting the values it will be written as x is equals to this is minus b the value of b is 3 so when we put it here it will becomes minus 3 plus minus square root of b square so here our b is 3 it will becomes 3 square minus 4 times of a is 1 and c is 9 and it is divided by 2 times of a so here our a is equals to 1 and now further in the next step 
uh, we have x is equals to this is minus 3 plus minus square root of 3 square and 3 square is equals to 9 minus 4 times of 9 is equals to 36 and it is divided by 2 times of 1 is equals to 2. So uh, here we need more simplification and now first we focus inside the square root sign and it will be written as minus 3 plus minus square root of 9 minus 36 is equals to minus 27 and it is divided by 2. So uh, here we need more simplifications here and we write our final answer into the simplified form. So that here uh, we focus uh, inside the square root sign and now first we can apply the square root on a negative, so negative term and 27. So after breaking the square root it will be written as minus 3 plus minus. This is square root of 27 into square root of minus 1 divided by 2. And now in the next step we need more simplifications and it will be written as uh, x is equals to this is minus 3 plus minus here we write this 27 as uh, 9 times of 3 and we very well uh, know about uh, square root of minus 1 we know that a square root of minus 1 uh, is equals to iota and it is divided by 2 so further we have x is equals to minus 3 plus minus this is square root of 9 and square root of 9 is equals to 3 into square root of 3 into iota and it is divided by 2. And here in the next step we break this fraction and we write here minus 3 over 2 plus minus 3 times of square root of 3 over 2 into iota. So these are the other two complex roots of the given equation and uh, finally we have the three roots of the given equation are the first root is the real root and it is x1 is equals to 3 the second root is complex root and here we choose the positive value it is minus 3 over 2 plus 3 times of square root of 3 over 2 into iota and the third root is x3 is equals to minus 3 over 2 minus 3 times of square root of 3 over 2 iota. So this is the our third root of the given equation. And this is the final answer and thank you so much for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos.